What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? A new era of bull run is upon us. Donald Trump is the 47th president of these United States. We'll not take the office until January, but this is great for crypto because he became the pro-crypto candidate. Not only is this good for crypto, but this is also good for the economy at large. Now, if you think that 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 you know the previous administration did a decent job, hey, fair enough, buddy. Uh, you, you know what? If you think they did uh, a good job, you like what they did, awesome. However, there's a lot of people that didn't, and part of that reason was because of the attacks on cryptocurrency, and now we have a situation in which we've got a president who is uh, positive on the benefits of digital assets, and that's going to be a big deal, leading to what Bitwise CEO just said is a four-year bull run cycle. And then the question that you have to ask yourself is, where does Luna Classic fit in in all of that, and how much opportunity is there for you as an investor? Well, I'm going to show you something very, very interesting, and I'm going to leave it to you to decide for yourself whether or not you're uh, super excited or not. I think you should be, but that's going to be upon you. So let's check this all out. If you hit the, if you hit the like button for me, I'd appreciate it. Uh, if you like my content, make sure you subscribe. If you don't like my contract, uh, content, make sure you subscribe so that you can talk mad shit about me in the comment section down below, because this is where I call you a little baby because you don't like me. So let's go, dork. Hit the subscribe button. Okay, we're going to start off with trading this time because there's something important that I wanted to show you. And I wanted to give you some levels that you should be looking for very, very soon. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the last gigantic weekly impulse move and we're going to allow it to play out right here to give you an idea. And by the way, that move is from that top over there to this right here. Now, uh, some of you may be looking at this and saying, well, what about this breakdown to, to this range down here? And hey, you know what? Fair enough, but that's not how the FIB tool is going to work. Uh, this was not the impulse move. This was, uh, this was a, a couple months extra before it came down. So what we're looking at right now is the impulse okay so the impulse on this started in february broke itself down through april okay now when all of that happened we had a little bit of a test for a recovery but then we basically came down you can see the wicks taking you down into this range right here uh, but those wicks are basically um uh, just trying to find that bottom if you will and a bearish portion of the market after we had a nice little pump face. So uh, let's take this and let's consider what is the next decent move that we're going to see. And by the way, it will be no surprise to you to see some of these numbers because we've talked about them multiple times. So what I would suspect to see is an impulse move coming up into this range right here at around 3 zeros 11, followed by 3 zeros 13, uh, followed by a move back into this golden zone. I, I labeled it yellow here so that you could see this golden zone right there. So I'm going to suspect that we're going to see 3016, 3018 coming up pretty soon. Uh, it, it'll it'll be a, a bigger move than what we saw from this range to this range. It's going to be bigger. Um, we've had some breakdown, but ultimately there's something going on, which I'm going to talk to you about in just a moment. And then after that, let's look at the long-term playout. And the top here, the golden ratio, if you will, just happens to be right there at the top of that previous wick, not coming up to that all-time high, but getting very, very close back here to the range and the real volume node at the top of this chart. And that's at three zeros, 36.88. Now look, that's just the start. That's not, uh, this is just a continuation of bullish momentum. That's all this is. That's all it represents. So we don't want to get it twisted, if you will. This is the, the the this is the next inevitable step now in the event that we talk about symmetry a lot of times and, and there's a lot of symmetry in these uh, charts we're going to move this out this little line right here now when we take this line out right here then it tells us that it's going to be a long time before we get that so the symmetry doesn't always work but what we'll get is a nice little breakout i would suspect uh, during the course of this month we're probably going to get a big big wick up here into three zeros two uh wicking out above that and then we're going to use this golden zone as our consolidation point now if you consider where we are right now you're talking about a 2x from where we are just for consolidation purposes that is what i think is going to happen and there's a reason for why i think that's going to happen 
Okay, guys, this is big and this is it. This is Leonardo. You might know him as Ceramic. Uh, he just said, busy, 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 100% focused on November 7. That's today. What's going to happen today? Well, two white papers, one on theory, the other on implementation, are being prepared for community review. They will be finalized once the first TF, once, the, once the final TFL burn is confirmed. Now, November 7, theory white paper published. And now people are asking, uh, is everything on track? Yes, uh, I know it's mathematically impossible. It needs to be 110% before we publish. You know, it's always the 7th. Now you mentioned the 7th. It might slip. If it does, we will let everybody know. And now let's click on his name. Let's click on, oh, I'm not following him. I'm following now. There we go. All right, my next post will be the theory white paper. While you wait, an energizing song over the past month. By the way, I'm not interested in singing and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just kidding. I love, I, I'm a music buff. So, um, uh, <laughs> Uh, so here it is. Um, we're waiting right now about all of this. Now, on the eve of the first white paper, I see many comments and saw people express their support for enabling the, mo the market maker. It won't work. And this is going to explain to you why. But we're going to get into that a little bit later. As soon as this is released, we'll make a video. We'll talk about what we're seeing as a proposal for this. It's very important that we know exactly what's going on. So, uh, guys. Here's what you're you're going to get the first proposal for a real repeg from somebody who understands basically all of the needs of our space and that is to burn these tokens to have it a safe environment to move people away from where they're currently sitting and you might be asking where are they currently sitting and what is the problem with where they're currently sitting well if we come over to lunk dash and we look at the top holders this is a problem we have 2.3 trillion still sitting in that Binance hot wallet. Then, of course, you look at OKX, you look at KuCoin, you look at CryptoCom, you look at uh, Kraken, CryptoCom, Second Wallet, CoinSpot. Uh, we've got Bybit over here. You've got all of these different places that are just holding on to an enormous amount of supply. In the event that this were, look, we burned 5 trillion tokens today. Cool. However, Donald Trump has won the 2024 election. Crypto is a go parabolic and you don't have enough crypto that's where cryptonomy.finance comes in you can stake your crypto we've got about nine months before the big part of the bull market is really kicking off so this is your last opportunity your final opportunity to set yourself up a long-term fixed staking plan and guys you're going to want to have some tron some xrp some ethereum some bitcoin some of whatever it is that you like right now is the best time to take advantage of the opportunity to accumulate Accumulate desired assets, and there's over 800 tokens available for staking where you can earn up to 180% APY. Also, for me, there is a competition happening right now in which I could win a prize by referring you guys over. I'm going to make another Tron deposit today because I've told you before, I think Justin is going to be one of the goats in this industry. Folks, one of my high confidence plays is Tron. I'm putting 2,600 Tron into a nine month staking protocol with a yield of 71.8%. That's going to give me about four to 5,000 Tron by the time this is done. All right, guys, my Tron is set up. I am ready to go. This bull market is getting ready to happen. As we approach the end of the year, Cryptonomy is going to be hosting numerous giveaways just like in previous years. It's become a tradition. For, uh, you can. Uh, You've got Halloween prizes, you've got Christmas prizes, and you've got newsletters that will allow you to see exactly what's going on. Don't forget the important part, in my opinion, and that is the launch pool. We've created multiple contracts over here. We're not creating a new one today, but as you can see from the returns that we're getting over here, they're getting significant multipliers with every investment for the launch pool. So make sure that you sign up for the launch pool today. When we look at supply, we only have 6.79. We can't burn 5 trillion. Why can't we burn 5 trillion? Because 2.3 trillion are currently sitting on Binance. Now, if that is the case, how do we get that move over into our ecosystem in order to start an effective sort of burn? And the answer to that is going to be you taking your crypto off of Binance or off of OKX or KuCoin and start trading in our ecosystem. Now, by that, in order for that to be a thing, there has to be the repeg in the burn process. We have to get our uh, stuff together, and it won't be through the market maker. So um, that means 
we need to figure this out. And once we figure it out, again, this is ceramic. Once we figure this out, then we can start to implement that. And then we can start to migrate people over into this ecosystem. Binance holding on to 2 trillion of these tokens. It is not good. Now, some of you might like it because you think, hey, it's cool because it's Binance. And that is fair, okay? However, we would still need to sweep all of this stuff out. And then if we swept every single other wallet holder out and just said, you know, all we're doing is Binance, right? If we, and by the way, it's not possible or not. We're not going to do that. But if we did, we'd still have 2.3 trillion tokens. That is far too much, far too much. So this is going to be a very, very interesting change in the way that we are uh, doing business. So I can't wait to see what the proposal is. Now back to the totals over here, 28 million in volume. That's me. That again, it's going to mean that the Binance burns are going to be a pretty big thing pretty soon. So uh, circulating supply, 5.46 trillion. At this point, let's look at that. Um, 2.3 trillion versus 5.46 trillion. You got to think right here, Binance controls half of the supply. So we have to do something right? Uh, in order to, to make that move. So when we get the information, we'll bring it to you. Now, along with that, uh, 2.3 cents is where USTC is trading right now off of 26 million volume, 5.568 billion circulating supply. I do want to say that I think that 1.8 billion in the LFG wallet is part of this. So, um, I, I, you know, I, I want to say I don't know that there's anything really that's that's going to go on here that's going to affect dramatically price right out of the gate. We need to get that LFG wallet burned, which I'm sure we will. But you know, I, I don't think it's going to make a big move because I think we already blacklisted them. So um, you know, price wise, no big deal. Uh, however, you know, it is a big deal. The other day, Terra Casino gave up give away $2.5 million to one single trader, one single investor, one single player. And these guys are playing over here. They're not playing for huge amounts. They're just playing for decent amounts. And they're wagering and they're winning. And if you want to be a wager, if you want to be a winner, be a winner. Come over here, Terra Classic uh, Casino, uh, terracasino.io, and, and start trading. You can play First of Olympians. They're giving away 2.2 uh, 2 billion, 2 million euros, 2 billion euros. They're giving away 2 million euros. Come on, guys. What are you doing, right? Uh, you got sports wagering. Uh, you want to bet on Chicago Bears, right? Come on. You want to bet on Chicago Bears. You want to bet on Chicago, Chicago Bears. Okay, whatever. Um, if you're looking for meme coin trading, then you know where that is. That's over here on terraport.finance. Um, I've got 10.6, almost 10.7K. Um Staked, uh, still not enough on the launch pad. Uh, I was about to pull the trigger and buy a little bit more today, but I feel like Lunk is getting ready to pump, so I didn't want to use the Lunk for, uh, you know, I think, again, I think I would have to buy about six or 7,000 Terra in order to get that average over 10,000 and start doing this. So mm, I'm, I'm hedging just a little bit because I think that Terra Luna Classic is about to pump. So I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit longer. Now, uh, let's move further. 252 billion, almost 253 billion have been burned. Uh, again, you know, huge amounts right there. By the way, if you want to trade meme coins and you're looking for a place to trade meme coins, uh, I have a link in the description down below. Sign up at we W-E-E-X, that's your place to offload and, uh, and onload your Luna Classic. So it helps me tremendously, by the way, support this channel if you just sign up down below. And uh, that's the, the, you know, it's one of the few places right now where you're non-KYC. These guys don't care who you are. They just care that you trade. And if you don't want people to know who you are, if you're uh, in, in DeFi, if you're a true DeFi degen uh, like me, you don't want people knowing your business. So uh, somebody like Weeks, great place place for you to go in order to trade some Luna Classic. And by the way, you can do futures. You can do futures trading of Luna Classic over there. So buy yourself, send, send yourself a little, invest yourself a lot, see what happens. But I do think that uh, if you do something like that, be very careful in, in your risk assessment and uh, shoot for the moon, baby. Anyway, uh, supply, we, we're not, you know, we, we burned a little bit, we, big burn here over here, but then the rest of it's been just kind of nominal at this point. Again, we're expecting some big burns to be coming. Uh, we can't be done with it at that point. We've got the, the announcement coming very, very soon. Uh, as far as meme coins go over at Coin Hall, um, I mean, you can look down the chart and you can see here, there's not a lot of life right now. Um, uh, you've got some having little pumps. Hamster mean ha ha having a nice little pump over here. Um, it, you know, you got a few of them if you go down this list um, that, that are, they're having 
little revivals. Garuda acts up about 10% on its pairing with Lunk today. But, you know, again, this, this is really all about uh, we need that big surge in meme coins. Once we get that big surge, then all of a sudden you're going to see this thing just absolutely obliterate expectation. I mean, that's really what's going to happen. Cat with Hat down a little bit today, but we had a nice big burn on Cat with Hat again. 23.24 billion, which is 23.24% uh, of the total supply, has now been burned with 76.76 .76 billion left at 77% of the initial supply. And it's only going to continue to dwindle. So get yourself a bag before it's too late. And look, uh, at this point, it's not life-changing money. This is just a good opportunity for you to get in on one of these meme coins that's probably going to absolutely send at some point. So um, now let's talk Let's talk in news. We have an article up, and it's talking about the 5% rise, and it's Olivia Stephanie. You guys know it's, you know, it's, it's, this is, I think it's basically AI generated at this point. But um, Bollinger Bands are showing high volatility in the Terra Luna Classic price. And there's your Bollinger Band layout right now, and... I'm not sure how well you can see this. Let's pull this up like this. You can kind of, I mean, you really you kind of zoom in here and you can see here, this is this is not true. Uh, in the shorter time frames, you can see that there was that breakdown and then there's the break back up into this range. So you can say that the Bollinger Band is expanding from this little tightening right here, but it's about to tighten up again as we consolidate just a little bit sideways, I think for a short period of time. And then we're gonna break out and start testing some tops up here, okay? Uh, I think we're gonna do that because the market, the market is gonna wanna do that. Now, if you guys remember, I told you this, I told you that in the last election, right after the election, what did we get? And what did I say? I said that we got a little sideways consolidation for a couple days before we actually broke out, right? So here we are. We're two days out of the election. This is the third day. This is the red day right here where we kind of topped. Now we're going to come down just a little bit. That's what happened the last time. Uh, we had uh, basically, and by the way, I, you know, I can't stress this enough. This was just an absolute perfect fib retracement into the golden zone. And then from there, we absolutely broke out and it took us by the end of the month, the middle of the month, it took us that long and we broke out into the golden ratio for Bitcoin, which means that we'll probably do the same thing on Luna Classic. So, you know, let's find out where that is. Okay, so uh, just because it's symmetry, guys, uh, once it breaks out, uh, now it's going to break back down, probably coming down in this golden zone. So we're probably looking at about a four zeros 87 coming one more time. And then we're going to have a breakout and it's going to come to three zeros 12. Okay, that's where we were. And by the way, what did we just say a few minutes ago? We were talking about the same thing. And I said, that's where we're going to have the breakout too, right? Remember, we go back to that monthly thing that, or the weekly thing that I just did. And what did I tell you? I said three zeros 11 to 78. That's going to be that white line right there. Uh, and by the way, I don't have this perfect, if you, you know, if you will, I got to move that around just a little bit to get the exact right number. I'm not sure I got that completely right either. So, um, oh, I did not get that even close to right, idiot. There we go. All right. So about 11.5. And that makes out because that's just exactly what we just talked about. Uh, so 11.5 is coming in, in very short order. So um, what could you not be bullish on? Okay, this is just the start. This is just the market warming up for a great sending. Again, this market is about to go this way. So all you have to do is just hold on tight um, and and give it give yourself just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit of patience because we are there and it's just going to get better from here. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button. Um, hit, hit the subscribe button if you like listening to me every day talk crazy shit to you about Luna Classic. And if you don't like it, uh, then hit the subscribe button just so you can hear me and you can hate, uh, hate text me in the comment section down below and tell me what an asshole you think I am if that's what you think I am. Because I'm always right, you're not. So go ahead. Go ahead. I dare you. I double dog. I triple dog dare you. And it's Christmas time, so I can say that. You guys have a good day, and we'll talk to you again soon.